Today, it's a very special day. This is one guy that I'm a big fan of this guy. He's a very young fellow. 
He's our first horn at the UKSO, the University of Kentucky Symphony Orchestra. He plays amazingly well, and uh, I decided to write something for him. And we decided to record today. We are, for you guys to see, musicians do not have vacation, you know. Today is January the 3rd? Yeah. The 4th, the 3rd. So we are already here working the whole afternoon. It was a very pleasant session, recording session. Um, I'd like to ask you, Herman. First of all, thank you very much for being here. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for playing my piece. Our piece, actually. Yeah. I always yeah. think that. Yeah, I always think that the, the performer always has, has some some contributions with the piece. So tell me a little bit of your impressions about the piece. By the way, we didn't talk about that yet. This is very true. <laughs> well, I really enjoy the piece. It's um, a very like almost neo-romantic style. Uh, very picturesque images. I see a lot of snow flurries and some. <laughs> maybe sunrises and sunsets kind of over the valley, over the forest. Um, and it's got some interesting Mozart quotes for those of you who are uh, read up on your horn concerti. Uh, <laughs> so when you listen to it, uh, I hope you hear those and enjoy them as much as we did. Yeah, and I, um, tell me if this is the case. I think it's quite interesting for you guys from America to listen to, to hear uh, Neo Romantic, mm -hmm. as you described. Again, we didn't talk about this yet. And how do you connect that with the Brazilian spirit that you were able to see Brazilian composer mm -hmm. working with us? You saw a piece of mine for orchestra. So how those dots are connected in your head? You know, yeah, I come from the you know the, the Western tradition, and um, obviously you have both your Brazilian heritage and the study you know the academic study you've done of Western traditional music. So after hearing more. Um, uh, Brazilian com through composed music. Uh, it reminds me of movie music a lot, you know. Nice. But then um, it's a little more expansive with the rhythms, the syncopations, the meter changes. Uh, it's a little more interesting than you would normally get on something like this. You know, if Schumann wrote it or something, a lot of quarter notes, maybe a dotted quarter <laughs> note. But we've got a lot of meter changes, a lot of um, maybe not syncopations, but the grooves are constantly changing and mm -hmm. just totally flowing, completely seamlessly too, not like bum, 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 but just like da, 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 da. and then you know, you could be in a totally different meter and great, still sounds great. I really sounds enjoy it. Oh, thank you very much. So thank you one more time, Harman, mm -hmm. for, for spending your time here with me. It's been it's a, a pleasure. pleasure to collaborate with you. And for you guys, one more time, thank you very much for supporting my work. And by the way, really soon when Herman says, okay, we are going to mix and master these recordings and um, we are going to be able to sell the scores. So thank you very much for enjoying us and Herman, thank you very much one more time. Thank you.